Am I, am I, what now? It says I'm live. Give me a thumbs up if, or, I don't know, put something in the chat if I'm live. <laughs> Hello? Tin O'Don. I'm so bad at pronouncing people's names. I'm so sorry. Hello. How are you? Patrick. I know how to say that name. <laughs> how are you, Patrick? Hopefully, hopefully I'm... Uh... <laughs> People can hear me. Uh, can people hear me? I'll put that in the chat, see if anyone says. Oh, yeah, well, someone just replied to, how are you today? Good morning from the US. How is the stream going? I've literally just started the stream, so Cthulhu, you've just got here on time. And the dog has literally been asleep for the past, like, hour, and has decided I'm awake again now, so... Can you go back to bed, please? Come on, in your bed. Oh, she's so cute. Sorry. Right. So, today, today, um, I'm making a, a, a new horrible white concrete area for us to uh, do some work in. This is where I'm going to do some extreme reactors. This is way too big for what we <laughs> what we need right here, but still. Um, yeah, this is just a horrible big white room, but, oh, and I need, need to put one of the at ender io, one of these things, travel anchors down, uh, I'm just going to put it there, there we go. So, um, I, I will admit, I, I think I said it in, uh, if anyone caught the video that I put up, uh, to like announce that I'm doing a stream today, let me pop. Yeah, I can go to that. Nice. Uh, let me go to this one. Nope. Okay, up here. I will admit that um, I've done a few bits off camera, <laughs> as usual, because uh, um, I I set up an SPS and it's been running for a while, and I've got quite a bit of antimatter. I've got seven now, so we've got all the antimatter we need for one ATM star. I just need to do everything else now. I know this is a bit weird that I've just like skipped all of that. It's all in episodes. I've got three episodes that I've pre-recorded. So you'll see that tomorrow, Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday. I might do Gravitas on Wednesday. I completely forgot about it this week. Oh, you guys can actually see the chat in stream now. Oh, that's really cool. Glorious white room. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Last week, I um, I accidentally, I accidentally said that um, instead of that, I was gonna stream alert. I it was it wasn't stream alert, was it? It was um, I accidentally put something like stream alter. I did change it afterwards, to be fair. But to be honest, I didn't notice for ages. Anyway, dirt. Uh, this is where I dug down. Basically, I dug down right here. So. Just put that back together. Thank you very much. And now we can use this to get all the way down here. Lovely. So where is the concrete? Ah, keeps doing this. I just want to put the white concrete in there, but no. I've no idea how much of this stuff I'm going to need to finish this off. So I'm just going to go, there you go. That, that'll do. That's the amount that this can take. So yeah, today, um, I think we're going to get into extreme reactors because it's a pain. Extreme reactors is a massive pain. And I think blood magic, I like blood magic a bit more than extreme reactors, which isn't saying much, to be fair. Um, but we got to do it. We got to do it in the end, right? So we might as well just crack on with it, I suppose. Uh, the builder, by the way, is just building this big, big room. I think if you look on the map, it's literally this section right here, but underground. It's basically what it is. So all I need to do is grab all of the white concrete as it's been made and 
do one of those. Oh, I keep putting my, my pickaxe in there. Oh. I might do some other stuff this stream as well. So um, I did say last stream that I would do this. If we pop it up, I don't know, like here. So this can all be compacted down into like one. I can't even remember what it's called now. The, uh, the thing from industrial foregoing. At industrial foregoing. Stonework factory. That's it. We can just make a stonework factory and it will get us some uh, some sand. I think it gets us sand. Anyway, it, we could do that. And then these will wash it and then we'll get like a bunch of, uh, bunch of clay out of it that way. I don't know. That might be a bit boring. I might change this up. Also, by the way, I tried to make this so it would make one treat. But for some reason... This is making different treats. It's making all the different types of treats, which is very annoying. I literally pressed apply on this, so it should be doing all of the treats at the same time, like all, all of the gene samples. Very weird, isn't it? You've never used a builder before, Cthulhu Monster. Flipping heck. I always use the builder if I if I can. It's it's one of my favourite like building tools. You should definitely, definitely get on it because it's it's a really good bit of kit. To be fair, especially actually no, don't don't use it because it's it's a bit of a building crutch. And to be fair, you, you're you're a good builder anyway, so you don't need it. <laughs> I'm a rubbish builder, so I'm I'm quite happy to use all of the the different things. Ah, I forgot about the mega torch. Let's make a new one because I I don't want it to be hovering there. So I'm going to just stick one of these over here, like, under the ground. And then I'll grab another one. Actually, I'll just grab this one. Stick this one under the ground as well. Nothing should spawn down here now. And we don't have to worry about the Mega Torch, like, turning off any of our spawners or anything. Because we don't have any spawners from... Oh, what's it called? Uh, Ender IO anymore. Any of the powered spawners. That was the big issue, wasn't it? So, uh, The Mega Torch range, I think it's 64 blocks by 64 blocks. So that's that's left and right and then up and down. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my... Um, I, I use this this technique quite a lot in both all the mods eight and all the mods nine in my original all the mods nine series. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the thing that I I always used to do, which is way back in my first series. I started doing this dynamic edge lights. So I'm gonna get a good good load of these because we like these. Um, what you do is I think this is the bottom one. Yeah, you put this all the way around the edge. It doesn't really matter for us because we've got night vision and nothing's going to spawn in here anyway. But it's more aesthetics. Did I miss one? I did. So this just makes it look nicer, in my opinion. <laughs> so you put these all the way around the edge and you do it the same on the other side. Now, I don't think there's any good way of like automating putting these down. But I would use like building gadgets if I could. See, it looks it looks kind of cool like that. I wish there was one where you could go up. So you know, like in this corner here, I want it to go up in this corner. But there, there's nothing that does that, unfortunately, from uh, simple lights. Really like simple lights. Um, I might. I, I'll tell you what. I'm. I'll finish this row all the way around. It's just over to this this point in the corner. And then I'll leave that and we'll do that off camera at some point. Because otherwise it's a bit boring just watching me go around in a big circle. Anyway, today let's do some uh, big reactors. No, not big reactors, sorry. Extreme reactors. Not bigger reactors either. It's extreme. So um, extreme reactors is one of those mods that's a little bit annoying to get, get with. 
to begin with. Um, we need to make a reactor, which actually, if I do extreme, I've already programmed like a bunch of stuff in. I haven't made anything yet, but I just programmed it like so you guys don't have to like see me program stuff. Um, so we need the basic reactor. So there's a reinforced version and then there's a basic version. And I th think we want to make the basic one first. Uh, oh, also, I've been getting, I think it's, I think it's the, there's yellow right ore, basically. Not supposed to get it at all, but I have been getting it recently because of the, the miners. For some reason, the miners mine up the yellow right ore. Uh, but what it does is it just turns it into uh, uranium. So, anyway, here we go. So... To get started, we actually need just a basic reactor. So I'm going to get all the bits I need for a basic reactor. And we're just going to figure it out as we go. Hey, can you help? Uh, trade is so annoying. How do I take it out of the game? <laughs> I think there is a command to do that. But the last time I checked, it didn't work for me. I think... Um, well, first off, if you open to LAN... Uh, turn your cheats on and then go to creative mode. I don't know if this does anything, but if you do that and you start a land world, it actually enables cheats if you don't have cheats. Like this, this I can't do anything cheaty, right? So like that I can't do. Which uh, that, by the way, if you press shift and control, you can turn on like the cheat mode so you can pull things out of here. Did you see that Yankee was not first? ERT, every single every single video. Brilliant. Uh, Yankee did say that he wouldn't be first. There is no... Oh, actually. Let's try no solicit... No banner. Is it back in? Oh, no. Oh. Is this a thing? Oh, no. It, it does look like a thing, doesn't it? Is that an actual thing? No solicitation banner. Does this work? Because... Yep, that's it. This works, does it? No, you're kidding me. Okay, I'm putting like... Uh, th these are going everywhere. Ah, oh, this happens sometimes. It doesn't let you pull... You have to just do this again. Uh, what was that? A stick? Okay, I'm making a bunch of these if I can. It was just a stick, wasn't it? Stick. Uh, these are going everywhere because I didn't even know this was a thing. They they took it out at one point and it didn't look like this. But yeah, I really, I don't know what the, the thing is for this, the, the range. So I'm just putting these everywhere. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, I also, I have a mech suit and... Um, That'll be next episode, so I, I didn't think about it at the time, but yeah, we, we do need to, oh, I could put it in here to be fair, so it's hidden. Do you know what the range is on this? Oh, I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? I want to, oh, you know what, I'm just going to place them everywhere. I'm so happy that this is, this is a thing. Uh, let's put another one over here somewhere. Aldous, right next to the drag me right there. Um, we got to put one over here somewhere. Oh, that'll do us. And definitely got to put one over here. I'm gonna put it right on the corner. Maybe on this corner as well. No solicit solicitation. I'm so happy that this thing's back because they are super annoying, aren't they? When they're like. Mur, mur. It's like, go away. Right, I forget what we were doing now. Right, let's pop back down to our big white box and we shall continue on with extreme reactors. I have fought up and I haven't seen traders in like four weeks. <laughs> That's amazing. Just a village made of we hate this guy posters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, stupid traders. Right. So, we need to get some cyanite, and cyanite comes from making that reactor, right? So, uh, let's get the book at Extreme Reactors. 
this thing is actually really good because it well i was just looking up the reprocessor but it shows you your first reactor and this is what it looks like so i'm just going to get a bunch of basic i kind of want to make just the stuff we need so nine on the bottom so let's make nine oh by the way to make the um reactor casing you need graphite bars and all i'm doing is making the graphite bars by smelting up some coal you can get graphite dust but yeah you you can't really <laughs> anyway we're gonna plonk this i'm gonna put it over here somewhere um let's do it like right here one two three three one two three and then if we look in this again we need the controller on the front and then the greeny arrow thing i think is this and where's the controller basic controller yeah we might need two of these that's the reinforced we just want the basic it's reinforced is that the basic as well yeah cool extreme steam i'm not doing steam if i can help it like there's no reason for us to do steam i don't think there might be might be to be fair oh we need we do need one of these um we've got like ridiculous power we're not going to use this for power we're literally using it so we can get the insanite block which you need for the atm star and i kind of want to get as many of the insanite blocks as i can and i also sort of want to get the b for it <laughs> because the b is Okay, it doesn't tell us how you get the B. In how do you how do you spell it? In San in Sanite. Okay, so you put it in a feeding slab, and then the inanite turns a radicalite into an insanite. Okay. We're gonna get enough so we can get the bees, and I might do the bees in like an episode at some point. So for now. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were looking this up. What is it on the back of this? So we need to get the reactor control rods. We need somewhere for the power to go. Okay, why do you not have like a, a power outlet? Um, why is this so slow? <laughs> okay, there's the power outlet. Okay. I swear we need two of these, right? Because we need one... Oh no, we don't. Oh yes, we do. We need one to take out the cyanite. Once we're done. Anyway, uh, basic at extreme. That was an easier way of doing it. So we need one of the fuel rods that goes in the middle. Um, I don't really have time to do any more playthroughs right now. Um, I'm kind of trying to focus on just chilling out with um, all the mods 9 no frills but i'm always up for if you found a really good sky block we've just set up a sky block on the server so we've got a server full of like servers that sounds weird right but um on the patreon the patreon pays for like a physical like computer right which is a server and then we've got like five servers on that server minecraft servers on the computer server and one of those is chickens, sky chickens, I think it's called. It's very cool. Hello, I don't even know how to say that. It's like a, it's like one of these. How do you do that? It's just a comma. Is your name just comma? That's, that's a really cool name to have on YouTube. Right, what are we doing? So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need 12 of these. We need an extreme reactor port as well. This, by the way, this first reactor is purely so we could, like, we're not even going to get power out of this. I think that's, is that done? Yeah, it's working. Nice. Uh, but yeah, this is purely so we can get ourselves waste 
and it'll be cyanite that we get. Yeah, so let's get some uranium. Stick that in. No, let's put it in the other one. Let's put it in this side. There you go. So that's making us some power, which we're going to put in a trash can. Oh, we could just put it in a flux point, to be fair. Flux plug, I should say. Is that even going into our system? I don't think it is. I don't think it's being used by anything. Now, in that case, let's just trash can it. Like, all the power that is being created from this, we don't need. Because we've already got, like, a ridiculous amount of power. Let's just call me Rad. Love it. <laughs> I'm not doing a Sky Greg, <laughs> Sky Greg pack. Uh, someone actually did suggest that, to be fair. My first intro to modded was a skyblock. Went in blind and was confused. Had to binge so many YouTubes to understand. I, I think my first intro to modded was like... Oh, I actually don't know. I think it might have been... Um, it was probably the Yogscast. I'm from Britain, right? So <laughs> Yogg's cast like made sense to me back then. And I remember watching the Shadow of Israfel or whatever it's called back in the day. And then they started having like a few other people on and then they did a load of modded stuff and that's how I first learned it. And then I saw I think it was Agrarian Skies. That was my first sky block. You can still get Agrarian Skies, I think. Or at least Agrarian Skies 2, which is on uh, Curseforge. Such a good pack. My first pack was Sky Factory 3, and I thought that was confusing at the time. I mean, it is kind of confusing. Sky Factory 3. Oh, what a good pack, though, Sky Factory 3 was. So good. We haven't got any waste yet. Is it? Is it still actually making us... Ah, there you go. You can see it down there. Depleted. 1.8%. Oh, this thing's so slow. It's incredibly slow. Burn rate is that. The activity. Okay. Ah, oh, can we do something like this? Let me set this to... Change. How's that going now? 100% in? Oh, no. That's turned it off. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's let's change that back to to zero percent in. There we go. It's going back up. Wow, this is taking ages. Right, we need four of these. I'm gonna make the seed to begin with. The um cyanite seed. You need blocks now? You're kidding. Okay, well I actually quite like that change because that's that's a big pain, isn't it? So. First pack I played wasn't even a pack. It was Feed the Beast back in Minecraft 1.6 or 1.8. Wow. Feed the Beast. I remember that. They did a, um, the, the people that made it, like um, Slowpoke and Direwolf and that lot, they did a series on that a while back. Like, recent, but a while back. Like, last year or something. That was really, really weird to, like, see all of these uh, old mods. And I think the the cobblestone was this was a different. It it all looks different. I forgot that they changed like the cobblestone texture and stuff. Anyway, this is going to make us some cyanite eventually. We want it to eject. Probably want it to eject on this side, right? I think is it auto ejecting? Let's get a chest. Uh, mm. Just a regular chest. Let's put that there. And hopefully that will get us some uh, some cyanite eventually. I probably should have done this off camera first. But I wanted to do everything on camera. I'll tell you what. Whilst we wait for that. I'm going to get the uh, the rest of the, the lights. Uh, sim simply lights. Simply lights. I'll pop these down. Whilst I read chat. I miss one apparently. 
Can you save this stream in your playlist, please? I have. I I swear I I put it in the playlist, right? I'm going to I'm going to have to go look at that now because my last stream should have been in the playlist. I'm going to have to change where it is in the playlist when uh, the rest of the episodes come out because uh the <laughs> the stream Where am I going? Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, because the, I swear this this stream is gonna be going out or is like episode thirty four or something, and I think the stuff that is already out. Oh, there's a leak right there. Oh, I missed a few. Cool. I've been using uh, Endstone to cover up so we don't get drippies. Huh. I forgot that I've got the uh, the mech suit now. Which again, you guys don't know about because I haven't done it yet in a, in a video. I'm gonna go check that right now to see if it's uh, if it's in uh, playlists. Uh, it. Yeah, how the flip do I change my playlist from here? Um, videos. Weird, it doesn't have it. How do I add that? That's weird. I swear I told it to put it in, in the uh in the thing. Anyway, thank you for pointing that out. I'll I'll definitely go change that. It's supposed to be in there. That's just an oversight by me. Uh so playing Sky Greg made me realise how difficult it is to progress in Greg Tech. Three whole hours for steel. Is that it? Only three hours? Wow. Must be an easy Greg pack. I'm, I'm joking, obviously, because flipping heck. Greg Tech just makes... Oh, I'm three short. How annoying is that? Okay, let's grab like a ton of these. What I would do as well, by the way, is I would do... Like, if you craft these, they go to like top lights. I'm not going to put these down. But you can do that around the edge as well, and it looks really, really nice. Oh, hello. Yeah, there we go. Right, how are we doing over here, real quick? Nothing yet. Let me go back to the chat. So, playing Sky Greg made me realise it was difficult. Yeah, it's bloody, bloody difficult, in my opinion. First plaque I played wasn't even a pack, it was the Feed the Beast. Oh, I missed, like, a few there. My, my bad. Um, but yeah, Feed the Beast was a, a fantastic pack. You had to like get EMC from like, I remember them, oh, what was it? It was like mycelial or, or oh, mushrooms. It was mushrooms. You could grow mushrooms in like a, a dark area and it would get you like loads of EMC or something. Oh, that's all I remember really. If I haven't met someone named Greg... They will be confused by my random cursing and cracking the Greg. An evil laugh when the Greg machine works, yeah. <laughs> my reactor's too small for the cyanide production, really? It is super slow, isn't it? Is there any way of, like, speeding this up? Okay, auto-eject. That means it will definitely eject. That's going to take ages. This is only at. Oh wow! Yeah, this is going to take a while. Crap. Once the Greg starts, you can never escape Greg. <gasps> yes. Although you can if you play a pack that is the same pack as the other pack, but it doesn't have Greg in it, like this pack. <laughs> I escaped the Greg. I really regret that, by the way. I wish I'd finished my because I did 120 episodes on all the months nine. And then I didn't get a Greg star. I got starry bees and stuff, but I didn't get a Greg star. And that really irks me. I wish I could go back and maybe finish it off. I was thinking about doing that, to be fair, because I still got the server files and I was going to convert it into like a, a single player. 
and then go back and make like more episodes in the original ATM9 playlist. Gravel was awful, awful hideous. It was it was kind of hideous, wasn't it? What solution do you have for early game power? No, uh, extreme reactors won't explode, I don't believe. Um, early game power? What did I do? I don't remember, really. I think I just... Um... Oh, yeah. So, if you get... I think it's iron... I think it's this. You just get an iron furnace, and then you put the generator. This thing. Stick one of those in there, and then you can you can have like a tree farm that turns all of your wood into charcoal, and then the charcoal you feed into your generator. I think I got like to a, a diamond furnace. I mean, now that mechanisms in, you could theoretically use the mechanism version of it, but it's not really early game anymore. Um, okay, this is not where I meant to go, but still. Oh. Over here, I've got ethylene production. So, again, this is in an episode I haven't done yet, but I haven't shown you guys. Um, this is to make HDPE, but you could you could literally just ignore the substrate. And uh, this produces ethylene, which I've got right here. And you can use ethylene in a gas burning generator. And in fact, I want to make one of these. I'm going to do that now whilst we wait for cyanide, right? My early my early game power was power gens. The progression is very good up to the nitro. Oh, yeah, soul lava. Yeah, that's a really good idea. It's, yeah, so if you get some soul lava from the other and then you put it underneath. I actually have one of these. Nitro. I got it as a reward. Thermo generators. I think it's one of these, right? And then you put soul lava underneath. Like right here. So if I put lava underneath. Have I not got any lava? Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. That's the lava. Is that going to be generating? I can't remember how these work. Is this the one? Uh, power. I thought it was this. Am I doing that wrong? Oh, it needs water, doesn't it? Durr. Ah, by the way, the Evil Craft Eternal Water Block is the best thing ever because it's a sink, but it auto outputs max int worth of water. And there you go. That's making like a really good amount of power. 3.5. And that's just with lava. Maybe we go get some um, soul lava whilst we wait for everything. I didn't really think that the Cyanite would take that long, if I'm honest. And I think bees would be easier for the cyanite. I might have to make a really big basic reactor, or even a not basic reactor, um, reinforced reactor, if we can do that. Let's go get some soul lava, anyway. So, bucket. And we probably need a structure compass as well. I haven't actually got the... Where's my compass? There it is. I haven't actually got the um, unobtainium upgrade yet, upgrade kit. But we don't need it right now because um, we got mech suit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, that's what I did, by the way. Before before you do anything, this is what I did for early game power. I made a bunch of um, windmill generators. Eh, wind generators. And then I had a flux plug, and I set up early game flux networks. That really, really helps. Wait, what does it say there? So it shows the heat element and uh, the power output if you search for the generator itself. Okay, let's do that. That's um, power. Ah, oh, heat sources. Hey, there we go. So 9,000. 9,000 temp. Wow. Okay. Does it um does it use up the lava or anything? Does it turn it to obsidian? 
That's what you'd expect, right? Over time, it would turn into obsidian. Anyway, let's go to the other real quick. And does everyone really hate my uh, my way of flying about in the other yet? Yeah. Which is uh, using the teleport wand. <laughs> okay, well, before I do anything, I should probably... Eh. Oh, didn't mean to click that. I needed to shift click. Do you know if there is a good biome or something to get soul lava? I was just going to do... Uh, what is it? The other... Nope. All the Modium Dungeon? Is it Piglin Village? Let's try that. And then right click. Which takes its time. And... Whereabouts are you? Okay, you're in this direction. It's just the stupidest way of getting around. I love it though, because it's so stupid. <laughs> If um Oh, I went I went past it. So it's in this direction. There we go. Let's be. Again. I've got a mech suit, so Oh yeah, you're not allowed to think so are you. Yeah. Is this not the one that I was looking for? Hello. Oh, I hate the darkness. I like the band of darkness. Oh uh, yeah, you can spam your um your jetpack in all the mods nine. Come here. Okay, this is not the one I was thinking of. Unless there's stuff underneath this, which we could always try and have a look at. One away. Underneath? No, there isn't any underneath. What one is it then? There is, I know there there is one, which is like. Okay, that's that's not to where I'm meant to be. Wow! Look at all the totems. Oh, did you know as well that Boon of Earth works on Deep Slate? So I can do that, and I get a load of uh, load of different ores from it. I thought that was kind of neat, neat to learn. Um, so I think soul lava is in caves everywhere, though. Some soul lava is in caves. Okay, so maybe I just went past it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um. Okay. Up here somewhere, do you reckon? Is that soul lava? Eh, no. You think we'd we'd find it if it was in caves by now, right? Am I doing something wrong? I forgot the rejuvenated flesh was a requirement for the star, so I used a modular router with the Morkin. To unalive myself over 70 times. Amazing. Amazing. I think we might do the werewolf flesh. I did that actually. I did. Um, I jumped off my uh, my my house. Like several. Several hundred times I think. In all the mods. Eight. I think it was. Okay, I'm really having having to <laughs> struggle to find this soul lava. I thought it'd be really easy. We just run around and we find some. No. Ah, there you go. Never mind. Found some. <laughs> soul lava. Thank you. Actually, that's all we really needed, right? So let's um. I haven't done this in a while. Slash home. Brilliant. 
Right, so now we come over here. Cool, there we go. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It still says um, 3.5k FE per tick. It's interesting. Yeah, anyway, the way I did it was I did some windmills. We should probably go check on the uh, on the reactor, see if we've got any cyanide yet. Nope! Come on. Why have you gone down in power output? Oh, because... Because of this over here. Okay, weird. Maybe we do the rejuvenated flesh. I might go do that now. Uh, we can use lightning for that, right? Eh. At Evil Craft. Oh, I've got two already because I think I got one each time that I died. What do you do with this? Oh, you need the this stuff as well. So, let's get this, actually, whilst we're at it. We need some Vengeance Essence, and I forgot how I got it. Was it with this? Piercing Focus? Okay, we'll go find something to unalive. Uh, I'm not doing it with the Whale Sprigs. Or foxes. Should probably have slept or, or slept through the day at least. Oh crap! I just remembered it doesn't it doesn't go to nighttime anymore. Uh, that's another thing that I did between episodes or between stream and uh, what you guys have seen. It's very colourful over here, isn't it? Um Okay, I need I need something. Even just a cow or a pig. Cow or a pig, you would do it. Ah, I know what I can do. If you look on the map, you can see there's a sheep over there. Let's go to that sheep. Sorry, sheepies. It's gotta be done, mate. Sorry. <laughs> So this is us killing a vengeance spirit. There you go. We've got materialized essence. Oh yeah, this is a good place to find mobs. Because how many of these do we need? Uh, we need 19, don't we? Because ATM stars, we need 19 of them. Mm, I thought this would be a good place, but I don't see any any mobs. Oh, there you go, there's one. So, I did have a backup plan. This wasn't it, by the way. If, um, if for some reason we couldn't do extreme reactors, which it looks like we can't because it's just going to take ages for us to do anything with extreme reactors. If we can't do that, then what we'll end up doing is... Um... Oh, there's an ally there. Nice. And what we'll end up doing is... Immersive? I think immersive, again, is kind of a pain in the bum one. So we'll do, we'll do some immersive. What do you guys think? Want to see some immersive? Immersive engineering. So there's a couple of creepers in there. There's a chicken over there. Let's go to that chicken. I still haven't made a chicken spawner. It's a bit of a, an oversight, but we should do that at some point. I'm not going to get all of these, actually, thinking about it, because that would just take too long. That's definitely off-camera work, let's say. Okay, now let's pop back home, which is this way. Oh, flipping egg. There we go. Oh, 
Right, let's chuck all of that away. We'll do that another time. I'm all into immersive. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do some immersive. Oh, okay, I need to do some about my storage disk as well, which is... Okay. Uh, one, two, four. Yes, we'll just make a new one, and we'll put that in with it. At some point, I might just get the infinite disc. I still think it's good to have drawers, even though you've got the infinite disc, especially for, you know, like clay and, you know, all the nuggets, because that way you get access to the nuggets and the block and the ingot. It's always good, in my opinion. Uh, anti matter. We've got nine now. No way. That's pretty good. Brilliant. Right. What we've done, uh, let's get rid of all of this. We'll do that another time. Oh, I've got to change the, the... How do I change the stream name? Can I do that? Uh, stream settings. Does this even have a stream name? I, I don't I don't know. Oh, it does. Yeah. Immersive engineering. I've a hundred percent spelled that wrong. There's two E's in engineering. Okay, cool. There we go. Right, what is it that we need for immersive engineering for the ATM star? Because I don't remember. I think it's in the emitter. So do we just need the railgun? Is that it? Ah, uh, it needs one of these advanced electronics components, which means the Duraplast sheets. Okay. Yeah. I managed to do my ATM star without needing to do immersive engineering. So, yeah. That was, uh... <laughs> that was pretty good, I think. I'm going to pop... Oh, I can pop that out. That's good. Okay, cool. Right. Am I Team RS? Yes. I'm just going to say it. I am Team RS, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's way simpler. It depends, though, right? If I'm playing with um, Greg, for example, I will 100% go for Applied Energistics. It's just the way that Applied Energistics works. It, it can, like... I don't know. For example... Um, Funny enough, immersive. You know these wire cutters? Well, if you use a, this in a recipe, or we use this in a recipe, the one with 20, uh, 250 durability in refined storage, it will just make a new one of these each time. It doesn't care, well, it does care about the durability, whereas Applied Energistics is a little bit more clever and is like, I've already got one of those. It's got like 120 or 214 uh -huh. in this case durability so i can make 214 crafts with it so but if we don't have greg and we don't have any of those recipes that need doing then i would 100 percent do refined storage it's just it's just easy it's easy and you don't have to think about it right like this thing here is taking a ridiculous amount of, of fe but and it's just still Still simpler, in my opinion. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, oh yeah, this. So the Electrum coil has got... Uh, we should probably make the metal press. We can make the roller, to be fair. Why don't we make the rolling mill? Did not I already make one of these? I did make a rolling mill, excellent. So I'm just going to slap it there, and then we can just get like loads of Electrum. How many of these do we need? One, two, three, four. Okay, one for each of these. So that's eight plus... Okay, so 16 of the cables. I think you get two each. I've completely forgotten where this is being made, the Electrum, so there we 
go, and there's all the wire we need. Oh, this is easy. I'm kidding, this is going to get really painful soon. Especially the Duroplast sheets. I remember that being a pain. So, we also... Oh, we need to make the bucket of redstone acid. That's fine, actually. That looks fine to me. I thought that was more of a pain. Wooden grip as well. Oh, we can do that. Because I made some uh, treated planks at some point. This thing. Uh, I need some more treated planks. Oh, I also... I have a tank full of creosote oil. And I don't think creosote is used for anything else. Creo... Oh, how do you spell it? Creosote. Ah, never mind. It is used for other stuff. We need to use creosote and this stuff to get the uh, the resin. And then the resin is how you make duroplast sheets. Okay, cool. So we are going to just hold off on using all of our creosote oil. Good to know. So what else do we need for this? Oh, we need hot graphite, do we? Crap, okay. That's not too bad, actually. We only need four hop graphite, which comes from coke dust in one of these industrial squeezers. Okie dokie. And coke dust. Uh, I did not make some... Did I make crushing wheels this season? I can't remember now. My internet is, doing, is not doing well this morning. I have had to rejoin stream probably 10 times now. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so for immersive, I made one industrial squeezer, one fermenter, two refineries and the bottling machine. Okay, I'm going to actually bookmark those and we'll go through those. So squeezer. Does it not come up with the immersive stuff at immersive? It doesn't. It doesn't show you the, the recipes and stuff. I, I need the book. And there's the projector that you can get, but I, I can't be asked with that. We should 100% do this downstairs, though, because we made the area, didn't we? So let's do it over here. If we make over here be our immersive area. So simple machines. We need the squeezer, which isn't in there. Heavy machines. Ah, there we go. Squeezer. Oh, and it tells you all the things you need. Crap. We're going to have to program some stuff in. I've tried to do this without being on camera, but it looks like I, I failed. <laughs> Did all the stuff for uh, the, uh, the reactors, but whoopsie-daisy. Okay, right. Let's program a few bits. So, at Immerse, we're already in there. Nice. Definitely want to do steel scaffolding, which means we need to do steel rods. I'm just going to do this. It's probably a waste doing it this way. Meh, I don't think it's that much of a waste. What else do we need? We need the light engineering block, redstone engineering block. And probably I'll do the heavy and stuff as well. Engineering block. Um, how do we not have steel plates? Okay, we need steel plates to be... Do I have a multi-servo? Is that how I'm doing it? I must be doing it in a multi-servo somewhere. I need to make one of those crafting managers. Okay, let me do that real quick. Crafting manager. Is it not called that? A craft manager. And we'll find storage. Ah, there it is. Nice. Yeah, we'll do one of these. This will uh, allow us to basically pick out... Ah, oh, nearly done. Uh, it will allow us to, like, click on all of the... Oh, you'll see it. You'll see it in a sec. Let me just... Uh... 
plumb this down somewhere. Mm, where's a good place for it? I'm going to put it here for now. Red dye. We need everything to be red in here. It's not because I accidentally clicked red on there at one point. <clears throat> Can I search in this? Plate. Multi-servo press. I do have the multi-servo. I remember where it is now. Excellent. Now that I re remembered that, we got one right here, don't we? Oh no, that's not it. That's the encapsulator. Is it down here? There it is. That's the badger. Cool. Okay, so... We need... Multi-servo, this one. There we go. That'll get us some steel plates. Oh, missed. Let's get just 64 on the go whilst we uh, whilst we wait. And there you go. That's making us 64 steel plates. Brilliant. So we probably need to do a few more crafts. Uh, let's use this one. Uh, right, what else do we need? Ah, oh, for the squeezer, wasn't it? So, we need some pipes. I also set up an ender chest with custom patterns, so I could order the whole multi block. I've done it for every one this run, <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Can you, yeah. What I would normally do is like have a take a picture of this or screenshot. In fact, I'm I'm going to use my phone and take a picture of what is required for this. Eh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we need the wooden. barrel we need this thing so we still need to program all of the bits right so we got piston we need steel scaffolding steel scaffolding oh we've done that one nice fences steel fences there we go and we pop that one down here with that lot and the barrel and then fluid pipe This badger, there we go. So now we can do light engineering block. And we need, nope, nope. Oh, needs to be on processing. Derp. So we need two of those. Redstone engineering block is one. Why not set up the redstone engineering block? Okay, we'll do that after. Piston is one. Uh, steel scaffold is six. Steel fence is three. Steel scaffold is six. Steel fence is three. I might not do this for all of them because that seems like something I should do off camera at some point. <laughs> well, I'll do it for this one just so people can see how it works. Fluid pipe. I need two of these. Makes eight anyway, right? So. So middle click and then add that to two. And then wooden barrel. And we need four of these apparently? Four. And then that makes us, I don't know. Should we just do cobble? 
cobblestone. Yeah, let's just do cobblestone. There we go. Uh, no, we don't want it to make cobblestone. What what should we make it make, if you know what I mean? Um, you know what? We could probably have just made this by the time that this was done. Uh, I don't know. Also, I had to make a piece of paper named whatever the mortar block and put that in the pattern as the input and output, otherwise the craft would get stuck. Love it. Can we name tag this? Is that how you do it? I haven't actually done this before, I don't think, from what I remember. Oh yeah, I need to name this first. Um, industrial squeezer. Thank you, Duke. Let's try this. Industrial squeezer. You can name the paper directly. I'm an idiot. Of course you can. Okay. Duh. If I just put this in, I can just name it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, brilliant. I don't know where my head was right then. In dust. Oh, hello. Oh, don't hover over it. Is it with a Z? It is with a Z. Okay. So in this, we just do this, and then that gets us this, right? Is that how that works? And then I put this down here. Actually, I want to put it with the rest of them. And now can I do industrial squeezer? Ah, it doesn't like the light engineering block. Did I not do those? Light engineering, treated wood slabs, and redstone engineering. Okay. So, light engineering. And I think it was these treated wood slabs. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so one. Oh, that's going to need the iron sheet metal. And I definitely didn't do this, did I? And I definitely didn't do this either. Nice. Okay, now if I put these in. Duh, 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 duh. Is it going to go off and make everything? Oh, you, oh, for God's sake, what, do, what am I doing? I need to put this on a chest. Uh, yeah, if we put it on our ender chest. Where did I put my ender chest? I think it's, uh, I think it's down here somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. Weird. Okay, well, what we can do is just put it on... Mm, we just get a chest with an importer. Okay, let's do that. Chest. We can put that. I've got an importer right here. That's my mega importer, though, to be fair. That'd be fine, wouldn't it? And then we need a crafter. I like this. I like doing this, if I'm honest, but... My YouTube says I need to take a break while I listen to stream. Do some admin work. I love it. Uh, let's try it. I'm trying to find a way, a good way of like pointing it. This. Okay, let's do that. I'll probably do the rest like manually after this, just because. But if I do industrial squeezer. Did it do it? I think it did. Redstone engineering block. It did. It made all the bits for us. That's really good. 
Have you seen Free Frauds, uh, Greg Tech New Horizon series? I have not. I've been meaning to watch it, if I'm honest. It, it's been on my list, my list of stuff to watch. I I do have mad respect for Freefold. He's on um, our server, actually. As in, uh, he's one of the, the lads on... That has joined the Discord server. So... Oh, yeah, on an importer with the whitelist. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, I Yeah, as I said, I'll probably do that for... I won't do that for all of them, but... Yes, let's get the, the industrial squeezer set up. I'm going to pop back down over here. I'm just going to do it right next to this, because why not? Anyway, uh, we need all of the scaffold... So we need this, scaffold, uh, fence, what else do we need, barrels, piston, this is going off memory now, actually it's not, I can just click on my phone and then have a look, light engineering, um, fluid pipe. There we go. Right. So I I always forget how this how this place is, and there's a way of like you press stop, and then you can see each layer. Ah, there we go. So this is the first layer. One two three. One two three. I'm so bad at this. Oh no, I missed. Huh. This goes here light engineering and then the pipes go down okie dokie and then what's the next layer next layer is one two three four of the barrels light engineering and redstone so light engineering redstone goes there four, one two three and four and then finally Okay, so and I believe you actually need this to be facing down. So I might have to get some cobblestone and put it on top. Or endstone, because we've got a ton of endstone. Okay, right underneath. And eh. There is a thing that you can do to like change the orientation of the piston. But I always forget which wrench it is. So... Just watch today's videos. Sorry for upsetting your flow. <laughs> your introduction commented last week about frills and frills. No, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny that I do say like thrills instead of frills, don't I? So I think they're interchangeable when it comes to my accent. So <laughs> I can see where people are like, wait, did he just say that? And also, it's funny because in my first ever episode, I put thrills, like T-H-R, because I forgot what the pack was called, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh. Anyway, we need a hammer. Eh, no, eh. Which one is it? Did I get this wrong? Is it shift? Ah, there it is. It's so weird that you have to, like, pick the exact one. But there you go. Where's the input and output? So there's an input. Um, there's the output. Okay. So we just need to get power into this. I don't remember if that's power. No, power's on top of here. Yeah, there it is. And then uh, we need some coal coke. So I did make some. I made some cold coke already. So I actually prepared for this more than I did the flipping big reactors or extreme reactors. Even we got one. <laughs> nice, stupid thing. <laughs> it's been a great series. Ah, oh, thank you, cold coffee. And that is a fantastic name, by the way. Cold coffee, love it. I do love a bit of cold coffee, if I'm honest. I really wish ATM and no frills would uh, have qubits. 
They're so nice, especially with chiseled. Ah. What's cubits? Do I know that one? Is that the one which is like, um, you like carve up a block? I oh, know that's chiseling bits. Never mind. Cubits. I'll have to look into that. That sounds like a cool mod. Ah, uh, yeah. Threefold is a legend, by the way. He's awesome. I thought he quit. He quit at one point. I remember seeing a video of his where he was like, uh, I'm not going to be doing this anymore because I think he had a lot on. Ah, uh, we need to uh, we need to crush these up, don't we? Um, do we need to cr we need hop graphite for for this? Wait, there's a B for it. How do we make the B? Okay, hop graphite. I'm guessing it's this Colby. If you get a Colby, you can squeeze them and get. Hop graphite B. That's really funny, actually. I like that. Oh, but you need the actual, like, squished B. Okay, we're not doing that. A thousand percent makes me think of the meme. What meme? Which meme? <laughs> uh, right, anyway, we need to crush these. Am I going to have to make a flipping crusher from uh, Crushing Wheels? Did I not already make one? I made I made some of these, right? Some of the mechanical crafters. Uh, okay, well we'll make ourselves a crushing wheel. Uh, crafters. Uh, yeah, let's get some iron plates. Oh, you know what? I might actually add a few of these bits to my requester that I've got. Eh. Iron plates. So that's going to get a 64 iron plates. I think that's how that works. It looks like it's doing it. That's good. When are you going to get the Stargate in? in uh, damn it. Greg Tech New Horizons. I, I'm not going to do that yet, I don't think. I... Yankee has been trying to get me to do Greg Tech New Horizons for like ages now. I'm not going to do it yet. I think when I hit like, I don't know, 50,000 subs, then I'll probably do it at that point. I'll start up a series and it'll be a long series. It'll be like multiple years, probably. Oh, and Greg Tech New Horizons is just the old version of Gravitas, in my opinion. Gravitas 2. I'm just putting that out there going to annoy a load of people, but <laughs> it's true. It is just the old version of Gravitas. Cthulhu Monster can attest to that. Wait, did I make enough to do this? I did. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> well done, Pilpo. Uh, right, what is it for crushing wheels? Crushing wheels. We need... 16 alloys, four planks, and okay. Planks. And what else do we need? We need a stone in the middle. Just regular stone. Where is it? There we go. Right. Stone in the middle. Planks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. That gets the crushing wheels. I don't know why it is not. Nope, that's not it. Okay, now I can hear everything. Can you guys hear my game sounds again now? Be careful, once you start, you won't get out of it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's why I said if I wait until I've got like a few more subs, then. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know how to cover mechanism cables? Yes. Yes, I do know how to cover mechanism cables. So if we get a cable, like the, you know, the one for power, and we put that down, what you want to do is you want to get some blocks and you put it in front of it like that. There you go. Now you can't see it. 
That's me being really, really passive aggressive. I apologize. There's no way to do it. And it's really, it always bothers me that there's no way to like put a cover on the mechanism stuff. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. That was, that was rude, but I thought it was funny. Anyway, um, right, we've got a crushing wheels now. I might. We could use this. And this, why not? If we get, yeah, if we get a couple of cogs, I remember if we use like a pattern like this. Um, how do we do this? Right, I'm gonna put that there, that there. I did this in gravitas. To be fair, this is how I I did it all in gravitas. You go. This one, this one, and then this one goes on the top. And it like links them both together. And then you power one of these. And that is the wrong direction, but the good thing about these is you can just switch the directions. Is that right? Or are they going in the same direction? This one's going this way. This one's going this way. Okay, that's wrong. Brilliant. Uh, how do we get this to go in a different direction then? I say 50 million subs, yeah. <laughs> Another use for qubits. I left for a little bit. Let's see how my internet treats me. Hopefully. Gearbox. I could just use gearboxes, you're right. Alright, I'll just use gearbox. You know what, we can just use a bunch of them, why not? Uh, actually, these are verticals, let's turn them to regular. Can we just do it like this? It's going in that direction. We change this one out, don't we, for a shaft. So the one in the middle, we do one of those. And then we just change this direction again. There we go. There you go. And don't let me fall in there, flipping egg. I've done that many a time. That was my leading cause of death in all the mod seven was me falling into my crushers. There we go. Loads of coke dust. And we can just stick this in the squeezer. And you can see it's actually doing a squeeze. I really love the look of immersive. I know a lot of people just don't like immersive, but the love, the the love, the look of immersive is just oh, it's like top tier in my opinion. Anyway, we can get hop graphite. We can smelt it up, and I'm gonna make the seed because that way we don't have to <laughs> reuse this. It's, it's really cheap, I know, but let's make the seed because meh. Uh, so we need Inferium, no, Imperium, yeah, Imperium. So ah. there we go, and need one of these and the Hop Graphite. Ah. I think it was Imperium. Oh yeah, um, I also got a yeah. We'll, we'll go over that when when the episode comes out. But I mounted the uh, the wither. And there we go. Right. So we got the hop graphite seed. I could do this. Should I just do... Uh... Alright, we're going to put one here. I really don't like doing this. I, I feel like this ruined all the mods 8 for me. And that is the phyto, phytogenic insulators. I've made this argument like a billion times now. But yeah, it just it ruined it for me. Especially because I got all the way through without like the phytos. <laughs> and then people were like, oh, I've done it in like no time at all. Which is fair enough for them, but uh, we need a 
and two chests. One of these goes on and we've got a red print. There we go. That should have um, changed all of the config. Yeah, lovely. Cable. Pipe. Cable goes down there, pipe goes right there, that gets the water in. And then we just stick those in. Ah, before we do, before we do, let me put this here. Nope, damn it. Lock it first. Eh. And then we grab this, put it up here, and I need all of the upgrades as well. Thermal. I fell into quicksand in the first 30 seconds I tried to play Greg Tech New Horizons. It was a sign it wasn't for me. <laughs> yep. I I think I played it. I played it a while back with a bunch of people from the Discord. Uh I think Pickles. Do you remember Pickles? Pickles was the one that uh like really screwed up his world at one point, or the world, or his area. Yeah, he made us such a cool base, and then it like got wrecked because lag. It like the the whole chunks got corrupted and everything. It was it was crazy. Uh, but pickles had a server at one point. Which one of these? Oh, why? Why did that happen? Eh, need to stop being on this travel anchor. Okay, what was I doing? Oh my god, I've just completely forgotten what I was doing because of that. Need this. Oh yeah, we're doing Fido stuff, right? Uh, so I need to... What's the this one here? I need the blue blink. Mm, how, do, how the heck do I get over there? Uh, maybe break this one. There we go. Nice. Really like this cut tough, by the way. I think it looks really nice. Also, why is it called tough? That's just such a weird thing to call it. I want to see if this is going up by three. It is going up by three. Why did they change this? I swear they changed it so even though you put in some fighter grow, it would like only give you one. Which, like, nerfs it. Which I like that. I like that they nerfed it. Anyway, this will give us three hop graphite. And we've got way more hop graphite than we need right there. But still, there's the hop graphite that we needed. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This one. Can we make that now? Wait a minute. Accumulator. Oh, it didn't and put it in but ah okay we didn't make the aluminium let's try that again aluminium plate and then we should be able to just make the hv accumulator ah. let's fling myself around There we go. So I have noticed that like a bunch of people that join my streams, they do like to talk about Greg Tech New Horizons. So maybe we do a stream only one at some point. Why just get the, the beginning out of the way, if you know what I mean. I get the healing axe like straight away. I mean, what? No. <laughs> HV accumulator. Ooh, that's getting us that. Last thing left is the advanced electron electro component, this thing. Which needs vacuum tubes, duroplast sheets, this, and we also need this blueprint. Which 
we've got. Make sure we didn't. Yeah, okay, it's not using the paper that we've named or anything. So we need this aluminium wire, which again, I need to get like a ton of this if I can. I do need to set this up then, right? Or I need to set this up. I'll probably set the rolling machine up instead. It's easier. Uh, I could just get like an absolute ton of this, to be fair. Uh, yeah, rolling machine goes there, and then aluminium sheets or plates. I don't know how many I need, so I'm just going to lob in like a ton of uh, aluminium plates. Feels like the good good idea right there. Greg Tech New Horizons isn't that hard until you get to the blast furnish, but push over it. Wait. But push over and it's very fun. Great Tech New Horizons is great because it has qubits. But no offhands for ones. Oh yeah, because it is it's on that version where you don't even have like the shield slot. Yeah, that's that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Do you have a mod list for mods not included? Ah, oh, mods not included. I love that pack so much. Um, yeah, it should be on the actual pack itself. If you go to CurseForge, let me just uh, I'll open it myself. If you go to CurseForge, there's a... When it opens, flip neck. Uh, I might be able to actually go straight to the... I want to browse it. I want to go straight there. Oh no, because this is my version. Okay, on um, on the CurseForge page, if you scroll all the way down, there should be an area where it tells you what's what packs, what mods are in the pack. My specs. You can find all of my computer specs on my Discord. That's my one way of trying to get people to go to the Discord. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go. Right. Let me copy and paste this into the chat. There you go. If you click on that and you scroll down, it says related projects. And it's got like a big list of all of the the different mods that I had in the pack when I did uh, mods not included. I love that pack. I, I wish, um, wish I had a few more people watching for me to like do that more, if you know what I mean. That was a, that was a really fun fun. I thought it was a fun idea. Like a new new mod every single every single day. Well, not every day. It was like every single day for the first ten days, and then it was one mod every episode after that. That way, I could dive into the mods. I it was something that came about when I was um, when I was doing. Oh, what was it? It was. Oh yeah, all the mods nine. When all the mods nine first came out, it had like barely any mods, and I really enjoyed that. So I forgot I need to do this one eight two four. I'm kind of all over the place this uh, this stream. I had a I had a plan last stream, and that was to just smash out blood magic, and we managed to do that. But this stream is a bit like, yeah, what do we do? So we need to make some vacuum tubes, which means we need this one as well. Do we already have that? Is this the same? Engineer's blueprints. Oh, we need need to actually make the table though, don't we? By the way, you can put anything you want in the immersive engineering crafting table in um, Gravitas, just, just so everyone knows. Oh, I'm really out of treated wood, am I? Grab some. I might need to set my my thingy back up to get us more creosote. Oh well. Oh yeah, we're only go really going to go for one one of these, right? So yeah, we could get there. I reckon. So 
there's the there's the workbench. Let's pop down. Nope, not this one. This one. Stick it there. Do that one, and then vacuum tubes. So glass, nickel plate, copper wire, and redstone dust. Okay. So we need nickel plates now. Nickel plate. Let's get that on the craft as well. Did I put all the upgrades in this? I think I did. Yeah. So let's make a bunch of those. We need some glass and we need some copper plates or copper wires. And again, I'm just going to make a ton of those if I can. Let's land on this. Uh, plates. Time to go through the nine rings of hell to get access to my Discord. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, they uh, they really do lock it down, don't they? Why is this not actually gone through? Weird. Wow. Only from two, I got. 37 times 2, or 37 from each there, that's crazy. There we go, right. Any copper plates coming through, or do I need the nickel? Okay, nickel is still going through right now. So, i got a question for everyone. What's your favourite pack of all time? Because I know mine, everyone knows mine, I think, right? Mine's Gravitas, obviously, because Gravitas is amazing. <laughs> By the way, if um, if no one... If people are waiting for some Gravitas episodes, you can always go and watch Cthulhu Monster. Attack of the B-Team. Normie Factory, really? Flippin' heck. Agrarian Skies 2, yes. We were literally talking about that earlier. It's my first... Or Agrarian Skies, at least, was my first... Um, Skyblock. Agrarian skies. What a pack, eh? It's a mine. It's mine stuff. ATM7 to the skies, really? Oh, you deleted the message before. <laughs> Love it. ATB. What's ATB? Mine is Mad Pack 2. It's a small mod, mod, bleh, small mod pack. Made by some YouTuber. I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, that's nice. Normally Factory was the first mod pack. I'd say I've gotten far in. Wow. Mystical block. Ugh. <laughs> uh, everyone knows that I don't like mystical, right? Oh, really? ATM 7's... To the skies is the only one you've got the star in. That's interesting. I actually gave up on ATM Seven to the skies because it's one of the only series that I, I just stopped playing because um, I just finished ATM Seven. I got the ATM Seven star. This was before the B thing was a thing. You know where you got the B and the starry B, and uh, you could like automate the the star after that. And it was when All The Mods 8 came out. It came out just at the exact same time as All The Mods 8. I need to look at... Okay, I'm going to... You, you forced me to do it now. I need to look up what Qubits is. Qubits. Qubits mod? What is qubits? <laughs> um, my Discord server should there should be a link to it. I'll tell you what, I'll get you a link. Because the link that I put everywhere else is actually one of my admin's links that he made. So I can make you a new link. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll send you his link. It's easier. Uh, if you go on any of my videos, 
Stream alert, stream alert. Ah, that's my own video, flip neck. <laughs> In there, I've got a Discord link. So, copy link address, and then I can pop that in the chat. That is a long link right there. Is that allowed? No, it's not allowed. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Smaller link. There you go. You click on that, it will send you to the uh, the Discord. Okay, what are we doing with this? Oh yeah, we're getting loads of uh, copper copper wire. And we're going to make ourselves like an absolute ton of the, um, what do you call it? These things, vacuum tubes. There we go. I'm basically trying try not to have to automate the rolling mill right there. So, pop down here. Stick one of those in. We need glass Ooh. I can spell glass I swear she's nearly got a million glass now because uh, it's just been pumping out we got two million obsidian now which is insane <laughs> uh, um, what else do we need for these we need the nickel plates and redstone this might actually be enough to just do this Three stacks, that's probably enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and now we need like 20 of these. So we need like 40 of the vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes. There we go. And then what else was it? It was the aluminium wire. Aluminium wire. Also, do people say aluminum or aluminium? I want to just preface this by saying I think aluminum is an absolutely fine way of saying it. I'm going to get crucified for that in the UK because <laughs> you're supposed to say aluminium. And I do say aluminium. Oh, thank you, ERT, for joining the Discord. If we add project... <laughs> if we add, add project E mod to all the mods 9... Yes, I don't like Project E. It's the same sort of thing as Mystical. I played with it so much back in the day that, yeah, I. It's just for me. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to play with it anymore. If you know what I mean. Anyway, now we just need to make the Duraplast sheets. Oh, we need to make this thing as well. Flipping egg. Is that steel plates that we needed for? The sheets. Yeah, three steel plates and the cutters. One, two, three. Cutters. And we want the plate mold. There we go. Oh, that was easy enough. Take this back out now. Get rid of them. And that goes in the bottler. Oh, there's a dog barking outside, so my dog might start barking in a minute. Um, when do you want I was gonna say, when do you want me to put the? <laughs> I could put the uh, the webcam on at some point if you want. I can go grab the dog. Let me know when you want that. Uh, so what was I doing again? Uh, we need the the bottling machine, and we need the refinery. Ah, oh, someone actually did say earlier, didn't they? <laughs> So air, air said earlier, didn't they? Where was your comment, air? So one fermenter, two refineries, one squeezer, and one bottling machine. So bottling machine, refinery. Do we need two of these? Yes, and a fermenter. Oh, it's not going to show up, is it? Uh, this one? Does that get us to the fermenter? Ethanol gets us to it, right. So I need to make all of these basically. What I was thinking as well is, where is it? Oh, the steel, oh, okay, flip neck. Need to make the steel version of, of this. 
there was a thing where you could click on this and it would show you all of the bits that you needed. That was in Gravitas 1. Oh, I moved the chat. Now, please, dog, my papa just ran across the studio space. Brilliant. Right, give me a sec. Let me grab the doggo. Big yawn. Big yawn, papa. No, monster poker. Hello. There she is. Oh. <laughs> ah. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, don't don't sniff into the into the mic, you silly. Well, Lee. The best thing is when you say, "Would you like?" Would you like? Well, Lee, would you, would you would you like? Uh, would you would you like a little tickle? No. Okay. Right, you feel like that. Hello. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get back to it now. I might leave the the webcam on just for a bit and then turn it off later when I remember about it. So refinery. I have to look that up. Refinery. What we can do again is I'm going to take a picture. Okay. And wow, that is I need to zoom in, zoom in, enhance. So ah yeah, there were steel versions of this, wasn't there? Yeah. Okay. I know there's a better version of this where you you can use the table and you ah. use less steel, but I've got infinite steel, so it doesn't really matter to me. So we need two light. Okay, we've got two light engineering. That's pretty good. Two heavy engineering. Oh, gets us four. 16 iron sheet metal. One redstone engineering. We'll have one of those. Eight steel scaffolding and five pipes. Okay. Eight steel scaffolding. Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, the sheet metal. Yeah, this one. Thank you very much. And then we can just use this downstairs. Again, I can pop it over here somewhere. So, pause it. And then we want to go there. There we go. So that doesn't look too bad, does it? And then is it these ones? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, light and heavy. Next one up. We need the light and then the heavy and then, okay, that makes sense. Heavy, light, this goes over here and then these ones. Is that everything? And then we just do this, this again, don't we? Not that, thank you. I'm so used to having the reach. I don't have the reach anymore because of my mech suit, so. <laughs> There we go. There is the refinery. Did, did you say we needed two of these? Oh, I haven't got the flipping stream open. I can't find your specs on the Discord. Ah, right. Let me have a look. It should be on the Discord somewhere. Um, oh, I've changed this so much recently. I can't remember where I put anything. Where is it? I used to have computer specs or... Something like that. Didn't accidentally move it to the Patreon area, did I? Because I tell everyone to go to the Discord if um if they want to see my computer specs. So this is a bit awkward if it's not there. Uh, it might be in... Did someone put it in Rage Cage? 
No. There was a PC specs. Wait, I just saw it. PC. PC. And then. It's been archived. Damn it. It's not supposed to be archived. How do I get it out of the archive? Over here. Let's open that up. Oh, because it was an announcement thing. Okay. Um, I want to take it out of there and put it up here somewhere. There we go. Can you see it now? It says PC specs. I, I haven't even got the, the chat open. I don't know why. There we go. So at the near the bottom next to Rage Cage, there should be PC specs now. I don't know if you have to refresh or something, but yeah. You could only use one. I made two because you need to make different fluids and I didn't want a recycle machine. Ah. I forget what we're supposed to use this for. So I know you need it for the the resin. So you need it for these two. Creosote and then this stuff. And then uh, you need it for this as well. Ethanol turns into that. So that turns into that. And you need the silver plate. But the other one you don't need silver plate. Is that right? Can you have the silver plate in there? We'll have to figure that one out. I might make I'll, I'll make two of them anyway, because why not? I did set this up previously, actually, to use refined storage, so I might have to do the same. I, d I did that in all the mods 8. Yeah, so it was a while back. But we need the, we need the fermenter first, don't we? So I should have looked that one up, if I'm honest, but oh well. Where is it? Fermenter, that's the one. And we're back to doing this thing. <laughs> well, at least we have it now. You know what someone should do? Someone should... Um, someone should definitely uh, like do this, but for uh, the copy-paste gadget or schematics, basically, making schematics for it. I add automatic mods if play mods not included or need to add myself. Um, if you wanted to play mods not included, you can get it off CurseForge. You can just pop to CurseForge and there's like a, a you could just click download. It's actually on the, the thing itself. I can make you schematics right now. I'm online. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do that another time, I think. Anyway, right. I need to get some light engineering blocks. So we need two light engineering, we need one redstone engineering, four iron sheet metal, six scaffold, so I know this makes six anyway, uh, four cauldrons and two pipes. And then cauldron. So I'll just get some iron. Do that one. What the heck is that one? Iridium. Interesting. Four. Okay. I think this is everything. And then we just need to do the whole pause and then this one. So. Ah, okay. So it looks a lot like the squeezer. This was not the squeezer, was it? No, this is definitely the fermenter. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> That's something I would do. Just leave a bit of a gap. Mm, I've already forgotten what goes here. <laughs> okay, it's the, the light machine block. Puppy just made some noises. Uh, what do we do next? Cauldrons. Okay, that's easy enough. And then I guess 
he's got on top. Come on. We fermenter. Cool. Okay. And then I should probably swap these round. In fact, what I might do, I don't really want to mine this up though. You know what? We don't need to. Uh, we need another one of these, one of these refineries. And then what was the last thing we needed? We needed uh, the bottling machine. Okay. Okay, where's the bottling machine? There it is. So, again, let's do one of these, one of these bad boys. You've got to stick your tongue out while you do it, otherwise you're not doing it right. <laughs> Iron sheet, okay, that's immersive again. It's easier to do. So, we need two iron sheet metal. Redstone engineering block. Light engineering block, two of them, nice. Steel, three steel scaffold, three conveyor belts, and a fluid pump. Three steel scaffold, conveyor. Fluid pump, okie doke, where's that fluid pump? This thing. I think this is good. Right, let's see what it's saying. If we do this, right. So we need like this pattern. And then it's one of those, one of those, one of those. Okie dokie. This one, and this one. And then what's the next thing? This pump light engineering, and then does it matter which way this goes? I'm just going to do it that way. Why not? Is that everything? I think so. Where do I click? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's working now. Hold container until full. That's what we want, I think. And then we need to put flux points on all of these. So flux point. I might need to go make some more of these, if I'm honest. Have I not got a crafting recipe for this yet? Oh, I do. Okay, never mind. Hey man, nice to see you too. How are you? Sorry, I'm really um, slow on the chat today. Uh, what's your opinion on RimWorld? Or as I call it, organ harvesting game. Brilliant. I, um, I've been waiting to get RimWorld for the longest time. Because I'm like, you know what? I'll get it on sale. And it's just never on sale. I always forget about it, if I'm honest. I've got a mate that plays it like 24-7. Um, he did, at one point, he tried to come and play this with me, and he just went off and played RimWorld instead. Obsessed with that game he was. It's not a bad thing. I mean, <laughs> fair enough to him, but for me, I've already got this that I'm obsessed with, right? So, <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Um, I was going to get, I'm going to get a network. And run in. I'm off to have a break. Nice to see the community. Yeah, it's nice to see you as well. Thank you, Cthulhu. Thanks for popping by. It's been really nice to like see everybody. Uh, this is around the center of it, isn't it? So I'm gonna plant one here. Just right click on that and then. Close. I was very close. Wasn't, but still. <laughs> there we go. Right. So that should have let me 
Yeah, now we've got an access to our refined storage down here. And I could make it really ugly if I wanted to and uh, just have cables like coming off of this. I might route them around to the back. We can have importers right here. I like that idea. We have importers right here. And then, or importer here? I can't remember. I think it's the orange one right that that like you pull in from and then it's the blue one you put in too so this is input this is output yeah so let's get some importers i made a bunch of importers a while back because i was like i need a load of these so let's do all of this where's the output for this that's there and the output for this is actually going to be a chest. I think it goes st straight in. Is that how that works? Maybe it doesn't. Do I need the other... Oh, what's it called? That's... It's this thing, right? The dropping conveyor belt. Does that put it in there? I always forget. Do that and then, nope, that. So this continues on, it goes to here and it drops it into the chest. And then we have an importer on the chest, like that. And then we need an exporter. Where does this one get its stuff? Okay, right here. So we need an exporter right here or a crafter. This is weird though, because we need to get Fluid. Oh, you know what we could do? How did I do this before? Oh, I remember. I remember what we did. Um, we had basically had a chest that we always put a um, one of these in. So this gets pulled into the system and then puts it back over here. I think that's how that worked. Uh, wait, can we just do... Yeah, we could do that. So that is that's important though. We want an exporter. There you go. So that's going to export uh, just this. There we go. What are you doing? Why do you keep staring at the door? Do you want to go out? We'll go, we'll go out at some point. <laughs> so over here. Sorry, I've completely missed the chat. Brimworth devs have said that it will never go on sale to respect the people that bought it at full price. That's a really good way of putting it. Could you explain how you link the chunk destroyer in the mining dimension to your storage in the overworld? Yeah, actually, funny enough, we did that already just now. So what you do is you get some networks. So if I type in net network, you've got the network transmitter. So this is the thing that you stick on your refined storage. And then you've got the network receiver. And this is the thing that you put elsewhere. So like we've got a network receiver right here. And then you've got the card. And what you do with the card is you just like shift click onto the network receiver. And that basically puts on the card what the coordinates are for this. And then you put the card in the transmitter. So if I pop up to is it that one no this one if i pop up here and we have a look in here there's a card right there and it's got like where it is in the overworld this one is in the mining dimension so it tells us where it is in the mining dimension uh. this one is also in the overworld and that is over by the ice so i did that last episode or the episode before uh if we go over here Ice, ice baby. So right over here. This is uh, where I'm making the... So I might not have done this on camera yet, so maybe I won't show you the spoilers, but... <laughs> um, oh, and if we pop into the... There we go. Uh, so I can show you right here that there is 
a external storage and that's all it's doing. There you go, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, where am I going from here? I wanted to go back down here, didn't I? So, crafters. Make a bunch of crafters because we don't need like a lot of this. Uh, we might need a lot in here though. Okay, well, oh, good parents. give me that back. There we go. So I'm just going to line them up with all of the, the inputs that we've got. Uh, there's two inputs for this though, isn't there? I forget what we do if there's two inputs. Oh, I know what we do. Especially, oh, hello. Give me that back. Sorry. We are going to need another refinery. And what we'll do is we'll have like creosote always pumping into one of the refineries. That makes sense to me. Stick another one there, stick another one there. Yes. And then we need our wrench, this thing. So this one over here, that's pointing at that. That's pointing at that. And now we just need to cable all of this up. And I might, for now, just cable it up without putting it in the floor. So literally like this. <laughs> and then we'll come back later. I'll, I'll come back off camera and I'll do I'll do it properly. Oh, annoyingly, this one is right at the front, isn't it? So there you go. I was really I, I didn't even know it was there. I was off, all off instinct right there. There we go. And then where's the final one? There's the final. Was it second final? Yeah. There you go, that kind of works. And then we just need to hook this up over here. There you go, these are all working now. So now we can actually just program everything in. I hope that makes sense. Hello, Albert, how are you? New white concrete room, yes, yeah. That's all I know how to build. Uh, so I'm going to pop this back in here and then if we put this in our system it should it's not outputting onto this that's annoying why are you not exporting <laughs> do we have to export into a dropper oh, actually I might do that oh wait open crate Open crate. These things are awesome. They just instantly drop everything that gets like straight down, I believe. There you go. So can we just export into this? I always forget if you can export into these or not. Cable. And then uh, plate. Yes. It will do it. Did it just drop into... Okay, there it is. Why did you not drop onto there? Is it because it just doesn't have anything in there? That's really annoying. Ah, can we do it onto a hopper? Okay, flip neck. This is the stuff that I normally cut out because <laughs> you guys don't need to see this, I suppose, but... Hopper. It really doesn't like that, does it? Weird. That is how you do it, though, right? Hopper on there. And, oh, maybe it needs the uh, the resin first. I, I mean, we can always... Uh, I know that the hopper does work, because I've done it in the past. So we can always use the exporter into the hopper. do that. Cool. Right. Starting off, 
the industrial squeezer. So that is to get us ethanol. So to get 80 ethanol, we've got spud, so we might use spud. That is going to be the recipe that we use. So let's pop back up to wherever this is. Hey, nailed it. So ethanol, we're going to use the spud. And that gets us that amount of ethanol. Uh, then we want to make acetane. So ethanol and the silver plate. Get rid of the silver plate. And that gets us the... I'll tell you what, I'll do it like this. So that's the squeezer, that's the refinery. Then we need to use this. This plus this equals the resin. And then, what was it? It was this thing. This plus this equals this and this. Yes, so we do need another refinery. Um, Oh, that's what, oh, ah, ah. So, uh, Durban Water, what you want to do is, if we do this, if you notice, I've got this chunk loaded. So you want to make sure you chunk load and make sure that you've uh, chunk loaded in your actual area. ERT, thank you for coming. And thanks for saying goodbye as well. <laughs> uh, I got it. It had external storage set up to import instead of extract for some reason. That's weird. I, I think I've got mine set to input. Yeah, insert and extract. It's odd. Anyway, where were we? Uh, so we've got all of the patterns. I'm going to go just go plonk them downstairs whilst we can. So this one here. That's going to make us ethanol. I do need to make sure that this is set to fluid input. Ah, poo. I also need to make some fluid storage. That's... Uh, yeah, we'll make some fluid. Fluid. What are they called in refined? Storage disks for the fluid. Just fluid storage, okay. That's where I put that. Weird. We only really need a 64, I think. You don't need that much storage for this. At some point I will set up like the really high level for... Oh, I just made the storage, did I? Okay, let's plunk that down here. There we go. I will make the really high level version of this because we're going to use that for, it's not this one, is it? It's this one. No, wait. This one? One of them you can use. I'm very confused. One of these you can definitely use for the ATM star. Maybe it's a higher version. This one? Uh, ATM. Everyone know what I'm talking about here? I hope so. Uh, it's this thing. That one. That's the one we need to make. Eventually. We don't need to make it now. I don't know why I bookmarked it. We'll, we'll not, not do that. But, yeah. Uh, let's pop back down here. So, that is going to make us... We can actually ask for some um, ethanol now, if we wanted. But we don't want to do that. We want to make this be ethanol and... Oh, no, that's not the one. Yeah, ethanol turns into the acid... Or however you say it. Silver. Uh, so, I need to put this through this. Thank you. Why did that get me the, the quest? It's very weird. Anyway, this goes in here. This never gets used from what I remember. So we'll, we'll have to see if that's how that works. Did I, did I even put an import on this? I did not. Import. And then cable. There you go. Anyway, 
we also need to make that this. Why do we need the fermenter? That is the question. Um, okay, let's go back through this refinery, which is creosote, and then this stuff. The stuff comes from here. Why did you need the fermenter? Yeah, if you're still about, can you tell me why you needed the fermenter? <laughs> Is there a way to find your fluids in wireless crafting grid? I've never seen... Wait, what? I've never seen them. Uh, yeah. So the way that I do it, the way that I do it, is I've got the universal grid, which is the universal grid mod. It's in all the mods 9, no frills, right? And then... Oh, for the ethanol. You need it for ethanol, but I did it from over here, didn't I? I'm an idiot. This is a squeezer. What am I doing? Thank you. Oh, I think my partner's back. Okay, so we don't need this one over here. <laughs> idiot. Uh, there we go. Right, so this one goes here. Give me two seconds. I'm going to quickly uh, just say hello to my partner. Right, just got to remember to unmute myself. Brilliant. Um, uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Thank you. So, yeah, we needed to do it on this one instead, the fermenter. For some reason, I thought the squeezer was the fermenter. They do have very similar sort of um, looks and feels. And, like, when you craft them, they are very similar, right? So, that should be... To do all of that, I I need to add an extra machine on the end, right, for the refinery. So let's grab the refinery again in here. Ah, oh, actually, I've got it. I've got a uh, got a camera for it already. Mm, I think it's that one. My partner did bring me some corn dogs, which is a weird thing in the UK. We don't really have corn dogs, but yeah, she uh, she went out on <laughs> on her way back, got me some. It was very nice of her. And now she's taking the dog out. So even even nicer. So we need two light engineering. Oh, hello. Let's stick all of those away for now. So two light engineering, two heavy engineering. We need 16, 16 of these, redstone engineering, one steel scaffolding, eight, and five fluid pipe. Of course we need five and we've got four. Uh, scaffolding, we need, that'll do us, 
eight of those. Redstone engineering. And I think that's everything. We got the steel scaffolding. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we'll do this. Do this again over here. So these are kind of out of order. I might. Oh, hello. Is that a clippy? They've got a clippy in here. I didn't realize that. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, immersive. Amazing. Okay, so that looks easy enough. We could do that. And then pipe goes down the middle. I want to see if I can do it off my memory. So one there, one there, one there, one there. To be fair, this was not the <laughs> the hardest one to remember. Hey, love it. Thanks for the help. I'm silly and I don't know the difference between wireless grid and the universal grid. Didn't know the difference. Yeah, I didn't know the difference either, if I'm honest. I think I made one of these. Oh, yeah, this up here, you click on it and you can go to the, like the different types. So this is like a regular grid. And then you go to the crafting grid and you've got crafting. I normally leave it on crafting unless I want, like, I don't know, a bucket of lava and I can just put it out like that. Or you can right click it in. And I know that the one that is very similar from Applied Energistics, it will just have the fluid in here. So you don't even need a fluid grid area. It just has it. So <laughs> makes sense to me at least. Uh, we need crafter. Oh, hello. That was a fat fingers right there. Importer. And I'm going to do an exporter on this one as well. Because this one is going to have creosote exporting into it. And then over here, we need the, is that the exporter? That's the importer, brilliant. Exporter, and then importer on the front. Perfect. Let's grab a bunch of cable, and we'll cable all of this up. Uh, not there, thank you. that in a sec and then this one over here there you go oh missed damn it we could make the automated version of this as well to be fair but i think what i'll do is i'll just i'll order all of the uh the duroplast sheets and just make them manually does that make sense <laughs> Disappointed they haven't added a tin of beans to the wait. We got magic beans. Does that count? <laughs> that is uh, Frost's way of saying I'm here. By the way, to mention beans. Love it. Uh, uh, anyway, we actually need to change this this recipe. I just realised. Uh, oh, wrong one. This one. There we go. So this recipe here, we need to change to ignore the creosote. And now we can pop back down here. And what I'm going to be doing, oh, flipping neck. There you go. What I'm going to be doing is just exporting creosote into this on this side. So we can do fluid creosote, immersive engineering creosote. Oh, and it doesn't like it if you do that. Tank. I had a tank of it, didn't I? So, oh, no, that's not it. This one. So I need to use a bucket on this. Mm, there. Now, we don't have any, but what we can do is, in fact, we can do it right now. In the universal grid in the fluid area, we can just 
right click all of the tanks out of our tank that we've got here, basic fluid tank, and that is going to fill this up. You can take 24 buckets, that actually might clean us out of uh, creosote. <laughs> and then the last one is over here. Ah, again, this one we need to change as well. Damn it. Because we don't want to even know about the uh, the metal press. Because we're just going to handle it as we go. Hope this makes sense to people. And now, can I just get... What are they called again? Sheets. Duraplast. Sheets. Yeah, says I can. Let's just get one, see if it works. So this is going to get us some... There you go, ethanol's coming in here and it's being turned into this stuff. Did I set this? I did set this. Importer. Ah, there you go. Need to make sure it's set correctly. And then over here... That's getting put in there, perfect. I also need that to be... Why is it not making the stuff? I don't put any power in you. <laughs> uh, at least I realised what it was, right? In the end. There you go. So what about now? Are you making there we go. Did it do it? I, I was I was not watching. It did! <laughs> That's insane. Okay. So we can now take this and we can stick it in here and we can get ourselves one of these advanced electron components. And does that mean that we can make the railgun now? And there we go, we've got a railgun. Awesome! Well, that was that was really good. I feel like we um. I feel like we did uh we we actually did a thing even though that this thing over here wasn't doing what we wanted. We've only got three so far. You're kidding. I might need to make a bigger version of this. That's so annoying. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna see if we can make. Uh, we need eighteen more, don't we? Let's see if we can do that. And I'm going to stare at this thing until it spits it out for us. Should be in there. Yeah, perfect. Is all the W's for the win that we just got. Because that was a big win, in my opinion. I am also probably just going to get the uh, the 19 of these and I'm not going to like automate it any further. There you go, we just got another one. Love it. That was actually um that was actually quite quite easy, considering we only need to make like a few of these, right? And it, we don't really need to speed any of this up. That's done now, by the way, so is this the thing that's uh taking its time? I think so. I did a thing, I know, right? <laughs> You and Jeremy Clarkson have that in common. Brilliant. So Jeremy Clarkson actually lives quite close to me. He lives, um, well, at least where I used to live. So Chipping Norton is uh, is a place that, well, is the place where he lives. And that's like really close to some of the villages that I used to live in. Try not to dox myself, but yeah. I haven't actually been to his farm shop yet, but if um, anyone knows who Jeremy Clarkson is, just watch Clarkson's farm on uh, on Amazon. It's really, really good. I actually went and saw Caleb live recently. He uh, he did his first first show, or it was one of his first shows, in uh, a town near me, in Cheltenham. And uh, we drove out there and... We watched Caleb live, and he was absolutely hilarious. He was a really, really funny guy. Caleb is uh, a, another guy from 
uh, yeah, from the the farm show. Anyway, I think um, we might. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll get the rest of these on the go. Okay, five of them now. Amazing. I think we might call it here for today. We've uh, we've got a rail gun. We've got one rail gun at least. I, I need to do the rest. Uh, but we've got hot graphite already done. Uh, what else have we got? I can make the electron coils really easily. I am going to need to go get some more creosote, I think. Because I didn't realise about that. But Yeah, we are going to call it. To be fair, it's been uh, two and a half hours already, or near enough. I know last time I did three hours, but I was knackered afterwards. And I can already feel my voice going a little bit. Because I give myself, you know, some time to breathe normally whenever I do a, a recording. And uh, this time, I'm just having to talk the entire time, so... Uh, right. Anyway, we got one railgun. I'm actually going to grab the railgun. Oh, but if I put it in my inventory, it's going to charge up. I don't really want to charge it up. Oh, by the way, I got a gravitational modulation unit earlier. Um, ignore ignore that for now, <laughs> because you're about to see it in like three episodes. Uh, but I may, yeah, I've got loads of antimatter. I'll tell you what, I'll go over to the area where I've got antimatter and give everyone a sneak peek. All those people that join the stream. Now this is only being like this because... Oh, this is so annoying that it's all good. They're all going to these ones here, but they should really be spread out, shouldn't they? But yeah, anyway, these are all making us, um... There you go, some nuclear waste, and then that's going in here. And we've got anti-matter. We've got 14 so far. And if you add three onto that, because... Yeah, that's really loud. Add three onto that because I already made one of the gravitational modulation units. Right there. Which is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one.